But if we break the link between consciousness and cognition and recognize that cognition happens without consciousness, both in humans and in non-human life forms, then we have the basis to draw a homology between how cognition operates in biological life forms and how non-conscious cognition operates in technical devices. So what do we know about the way non-conscious cognition operates in technical devices? Stuart is here with the Price Lab conducting experiments in digital technologies. So he would be very familiar with this list. That technical devices analyze and recognize patterns. They draw inferences. They're capable of interpreting ambiguous or conflicting information, for example, like in satellite uh, surveillance photographs. They keep consciousness from being overwhelmed, and digital humanities is a good example of that. Digital algorithms can read thousands of books, something no single human could do, find patterns in those, and begin to interpret the patterns as well.